we are starting today with the gravitational field gravitational field who applies the gravitational force any object which has got mass so mass is the basic reason why any object can create and apply gravitational force now if there is a mass it apply force on another mass these two masses do not come in contact they are at certain distance even then the second mass is experiencing a force towards the first one there is no contact then how this can experience a force what is that thing which is pulling it towards the first object what is here we don't see anything here for that explanation a concept of field is thought out any mass around its space create its effect that effect is field it is just like a web made by a spider we can see the spider but the web is so fine we cannot see that but any other insect which comes in that space is caught by the web <clears throat> then the spider knows immediately that there is another insect in my space who gives the information that web gives the information to the spider now if that spider wants to catch that insect what does it do it do manipulations with the web and applies force on that insect and the insect is drawn towards the spider who is doing that job the web we cannot see the web but the web is effective that is the effect of the spider all around it similarly any object which has got mass create an effect all around it in the space and that effect is known as its field the gravitational force anything which can make the gravitational force can create this field so we will give it a name gravitational field in that space we find that at some place the force applied on the external object is very high at some place the force is less where the force applied is large we say the intensity of the field is large the field is very intense mind the word intensity of the field if it is a little away we find the force on this object has become less towards it and we say here the field intensity is less so how do we measure intensity of field intensity of field is measured by the force being experienced by this test mass we will call it test mass because for us it is testing how strong is the field at this point this point this point or this point so that is intensity of the field gravitation is a force which can be applied through field so that is a field force now what is gravitational field the space around a mass where its gravitational force is effective is called gravitational field all around it any mass entering this space experience a force even if it is without any contact now second thing what is intensity of gravitational field so intensity of gravitational field change from point to point place to place so intensity of gravitational field at a point is the force experienced by a unit mass kept at that point now we uh, we uh, place a test mass which has got certain mass m and we find it is experienced gravitational force equal to f this is the gravitational force experienced by mass m but what will be the force on 1 kg this will be f upon m this is gravitational force 
and this is mass of the body this is the force by force experienced by 1 kg is this but the force experienced by 1 kg is known as field so this we will call field the field came into picture when we were uh, studying electrical charges and the force applied by electrical charges in the space at that time the symbol for field was discovered to be or uh, slated to be e that was by the name of electric field <coughs> now later it was thought that wherever there is field the intensity of field will have a universal symbol and that symbol will be e so this we also write as e e stands for field this is gravitational field so we can write it gravitational so force upon mass is equal to this is our formula for gravitational field the gravitational force per unit mass but we know how much is gravitational force this is g m m divided by r square divided by this m m now this m is cancelled and this is the formula for gravitational field but we know that this formula belongs to acceleration due to gravity so gravitational field at a point is numerically equal to acceleration due to gravity at that point that's correct numerically equal to this otherwise what is gravitational field it is the amount of force experienced by 1 kg mass okay we know that force is equal to mg if you make it 1 kg then force is numerically equal to g and this force is by 1 kg so its name is converted to field gravitational field and gravitational field is equal to g this way or that way it can be proved now field is a vector quantity because what is like what is gravitational field it is the force and force is a vector quantity so electric we can say gravitational field is a vector quantity what should be its direction we have seen the magnitude direction is along direction of force this direction of force gravitational okay what should be its unit newton per kg unit newton per kg what should be its dimension m l t minus 2 and this is m minus 1 so l t minus 2 and this is correct because this is numerically equal to l t minus 2 okay so this is few things about uh, gravitational field so around mass around earth what is spread out in the space which applies force on the masses answer there is a gravitational field the gravitational field of sun it's very large very vast and it comes up to earth it applies force on the earth and because of the gravitational field of the sun earth experience a force and remain attracted towards sea so gravitational field is a long range field and it spreads all over the universe that is why in our galaxy all the stars other stars galaxies they are attracted towards each other because the masses are very very large therefore field which has the mass of the planet if mass of the planet is very large the field will be very large and it is not destroyed on the way so it goes to a very long range 
sun has its gravitational field which is covering all the nine planets and other stars also that is why it is balanced in the universe in the galaxy so this is about the gravitational field there is another quantity around a mass field is a vector quantity and this other quantity is known as potential difference or potential that we will see in the next lecture thank you